Hey, my name's Sam Cookson, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Now, in this video, I want to talk about something and bring it to your attention on something that I feel could be a way that the government in the UK are going to help increase property prices in order to help them in the 2024 election. Now, before we jump into it, please help me get more views on this channel by smashing that like button. That really helps with the YouTube algorithm. It'll take you two seconds to smash it now, and let's jump into this video, because this is a very, very unique one. So, we've had a very, very turbulent six months, really, in the UK. Now, we've had inflation for longer, but it got really quite difficult at the end of last year, going into double digits. And that resulted in interest rates going up 10 consecutive times in a row. Now, obviously, that has an impact on house prices and that has brought down house prices around 3% so far from their peak. Now, the government has got to keep focused on reducing inflation, but it is expected that inflation will start to drop off quite quickly come summer 2023. So with inflation behind us, now, what's the next big problem? Now, a lot of you on this channel that are in the comments are saying house prices might go down. And I don't disagree. I just don't think they're going to go down as much as people might think. So we've had 3% drop in 2022 at the back end. And we're now pretty flat this year to start. But I think by the end of 2023, we'll be down around 8%. Now, that coupled with the fact that people's savings have been pretty much wiped out. A lot of people had a lot of money saved uh, through the pandemic. That's been wiped out by the cost of living crisis. Going into a general election with house prices on the downturn is not particularly something that's going to help the Conservatives to regain that power. Now, I don't want to get too political on this. I'm not a massively political person, but I'm looking at the timings of certain things and I think there could be a reason why the Leasehold Reform Act is going to be looked at at the King's speech at the end of 2023. So what is the Leasehold Reform Act? Well, I've looked, uh, I've done a few videos on this recently. And basically, leaseholds are, you, you, you own a property, either freehold, normally a house, or leasehold, which is normally a flat. And so when you buy a flat, you own that for a period of time. That could be that you own it for 99 years, or if you're lucky, you could have 999 years. Now, with leaseholds, there's a major problem when you let that leasehold go below 80 years. And that then suddenly means that any uplift in value by extending the lease, you share that with the freeholder. So let's just say you had a £200,000 flat and that's what it's worth with a long lease, a 900-year lease or a 99-year lease. But if that lease drops to below, uh, let's just say that lease drops to below uh, 80 years, now the flat will be worth considerably less. And the reason for that is... A lot of mortgage companies won't lend on what's called a short lease. Now, you might think, that's not short. 80 years, I'll be dead and buried by the time that comes around. Yeah, but financial institutions don't think like that. They look at risk and they will say, it's not worth as much money. So it easily could be less, 50 grand less. Now, if you extend the lease, obviously, it's going to be back up to that £200,000, which is great. Now, here's where the problem comes in. If it drops below 80 years, there's something called marriage value. And what that means is that any increase in value by extending the lease, that will be determined by a surveyor. And you will have to pay half of that value as the fee to the freeholder. Right, so this is where leases can be quite unfair and a lot of people get caught out on this. So what I'm saying is, if you had a 79-year lease, now you've got a problem that if you want to extend it, and by extending it, it makes it back up to the 200 value, that means that it's increased in value by £50,000. The fee to the freeholder for doing that, plus legals, will be £25,000. Now, that's not real money to you because it's equity, right? And so that's where this gets really, really difficult. 
Another thing that happens with the leaseholds is you have something called ground rent. And some people are absolutely taking the mick with ground rent and they're increasing it. And they've, they've increased, like, for example, terms where they say the ground rent can double every five years. And you might not think that that's much because maybe it starts at a pound or maybe it starts at a hundred pounds. And you think, ah, that's all right. But very quickly it gets out of control. And especially in London, there are people that have got huge monthly or yearly ground rents that are really, really difficult. So the Leasehold Reform Act fixes this. It's going to abolish marriage rights. It's going to abolish uh, ground rent. It already has done. So it will just be a peppercorn when you renew the lease. Now, why do I think that this could prop up or start house prices going up again? Well, what it's going to mean is that leasehold properties now have less risk and they're going to be worth more money. And so I think that just this coming into the market means that leasehold properties, flats, which generally can be that little bit cheaper and they're not going up in value as much as a house, suddenly they look a lot more attractive. That's going to bring more investors in. It's going to bring more first time buyers in. That means that I believe that leasehold properties are going to go up in value because of the Leasehold Reform Act. In fact, I think the Leasehold Reform Act is a great thing. I have a property with a short lease myself. I've been through this process. I understand the frustrations. If you look at my Leasehold Reform Act videos, there are tons of comments in there and people that absolutely agree with this. And so this could be a game changer. This could move a market, in my opinion. Some of you think my YouTube videos that I have the belief that I can move the market with my YouTube videos. I think this could move a market as much, if not more, than interest rates. I think it really, really will make a difference to a lot of people. In fact, you think about all the people that have a short lease pretty much overnight, their property is going to be worth a lot more. So just those people those properties in the market will make a big difference. I just think it's very much a coincidence that it's happening just before the next election, but also with enough time for it to have some impact as well. So it's looking like it's going to happen at the end of 2023. Then it's got time to go through and become law, which takes a little bit of time as well. And then it will give have impact on leasehold properties. Even if it's not passed into law, it will start having impact on leasehold properties because people will know that it's coming. And so I think this could be a little strategy by the Conservatives to get the market moving again. And they want to get transactions going. They want to get house prices back up. It's a big thing for them to have a buoyant house market. They make a ton of money off stamp duty. In 2008, they lost a ton of money with a stagnant market. I think this could be a winner for them to get the market moving again. But let me know, what do you think? Do you think I'm crazy? Do you think I could be onto something here? Give me a like on the video, subscribe and hit the bell. And look, if you want to know how to buy a house for a pound, go and watch this video right here.